An abdominal aortic aneurysm is a balloon-like dilation of the abdominal aorta. The aorta is the main blood vessel that runs through the body, and as it runs through the abdomen, it branches off and supplies uh, both legs. If the aorta dilates uh, and enlarges up to a certain point, there's a risk of rupture, which can be catastrophic and is obviously something we want to prevent. The thoracic aortic aneurysm is an enlargement of the aorta the aorta is the large blood vessel that comes right out of the heart, distributes blood to the rest of the body. When it becomes too enlarged, we term that an aneurysm. Aneurysms can be life-threatening. If they get too large, they can rupture, uh, which is a surgical emergency. We try to uh, intercept that problem before it occurs by following people regularly with imaging to determine any change in size over a period of time. Once an aneurysm reaches a certain size and we determine that it needs to be intervened upon, we try to do that in an elective fashion. Aneurysms in general are dangerous because of the risk of rupture. This is a dilated artery where it is thinned out over time and like a balloon it can slowly get bigger and th more thin until it bursts. When that happens it causes severe internal bleeding or death. Sometimes people make it to the hospital, sometimes they don't and it's always better to get it fixed in a proactive manner to avoid getting to that point. Vascular surgeons are the primary physicians who treat aortic aneurysms, particularly those that start in the abdomen and even those that extend into the thoracic aorta. When an aneurysm or dissection occurs within the chest itself, type A dissection specifically, that's handled by a cardiac surgeon specifically at the time and typically is an emergent procedure. A type B dissection, which starts typically farther in the back and extends down to the rest of the body, uh, is jointly tackled between cardiac and vascular surgery. In the last 10 to 15 years, has uh, leaned heavily on uh, thoracic endostents, specifically TVAR. Those are procedures that are done uh, jointly between um, uh, cardiac and vascular surgeons, as well as um, uh, following long term after the patient undergoes the procedure. So we have two uh, basic approaches to thoracic aortic aneurysms. One is an open surgical approach, which we reserve for aneurysms of the ascending aorta. Uh, aneurysms in the descending thoracic aorta, we can typically ap uh, approach with an endovascular um, technique uh, that has adv advantages to the patient in that that approach is uh, much less traumatic uh, as it's minimally invasive. When it comes to thoracic aortic aneurysms, there are really two subspecialties that focus on that area, both cardiothoracic and vascular surgeons. They offer a lot of open and endovascular reconstructions for the great vessels in the chest and the vascular surgeons also can complement that by providing some minimally invasive approaches for stent graft placement. The beauty is, is that we tailor the care, we offer the best operation, and ultimately limit the potential complications that can happen with these procedures. The benefits of the newer treatment options for aneurysm repair is that it's minimally invasive and there's a much easier recovery. With the standard aneurysm surgery, you're making a big incision, doing a pretty invasive operation. It's very effective at fixing it, but with the newer options, it allows us to do that through small incisions or even percutaneously with just a puncture.